Okay, so amongst the many, many, many videos we've made about Germany and stuff like that as far as uh, reactions go, we have a new video that has been sent to me by one of my lovely subscribers. It's called How Made in Germany Became a Seal of Quality. Quality. The uh, basically level of value or production, um, you know, globally and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications as you guys know or if you don't know we up oh, oh my god <laughs> sorry i just ate uh we upload videos every single day and uh we are checking out you know m d different countries but mainly so far it's been germany we are going to be diving into sweden very soon so like i said stay tuned for that like comment subscribe turn your post notifications and let's dive nose deep into this thing and see exactly what we're working with all right also, in case you guys have not noticed or have not, in case you guys don't know at all, uh, please do join our Discord. We have a Discord link in the description of my bio and in the description down below. Uh, the bio of my Instagram has a Discord link and stuff like that. And then, of course, in the description um, underneath this video, you can go ahead and get access to the Discord link if you guys want to teach me German, Serbian, or any other language, or if you just want to contact me for anything. Um, let's get into this thing though and see exactly what's going on. The EU and the UK, whereas Swiss brands are known for their authenticity and perceived oh, oh, commercial. status, German products are seen as safe, reliable and robust. The image of German quality has rapidly spread around the globe over the past decades. From Peru to Saudi Arabia to South Korea, mm. Made in Germany has become the world's leading seal of quality. Yes. Ironically, the seal was initially meant to punish German industries and to protect other countries from German products. Ooh. But uh, let's start at the beginning. The seal of quality. The invention of the steam engine kicked off the industrial revolution in the UK. In the years following, the British economy flourished. The rest of Europe desperately tried to keep up. Many nations were left behind entirely. British companies were by far leading in terms of quality standards and efficiency. The German economy was lagging behind particularly. In order to stay competitive, they came up with a strategy Japan, Korea and China would implement a century later. Mm. Imitation. German merchants were widely known for their corporate espionage. It is said that Alfred Krupp, a German steel industry pioneer from Essen, has traveled to the UK several times to, well, see how it's done. <laughs> he built a valuable network of business contacts and showed genuine interest in the steel industry. His objective was simple, understand how the British produced steel and then implement it in Germany. Hmm. It worked and he was wildly successful. Nice. German companies shamelessly copied anything that had been popular in the rest of Europe. They even copied British, French and Italian original labels and tried to sell the fakes internationally. Hey, they say imitation is the best form of flattery. Lee. Europe's very own same same but different. Mm -hmm. Labor costs were unbelievably low and 9 to 5 was not a thing yet, like at all. <laughs> Due to their dumping prices and the fact that international trade was becoming more prevalent all over the continent, wow. German second grade goods soon began to swamp the markets. It didn't take long though until they were called out for their low quality and unfair business practices. At the 1876 Philadelphia World Fair, German engineer Franz Rouleau summed up the image of German products and machines with the words cheap and nasty. Wow. In AD 87, many European countries implemented laws requiring the country of origin to be visible on imported goods. Hmm. The seal made in Germany was born in order to protect the rest of Europe from second grade products at dirt cheap prices. Especially the British wanted to distinguish their own products from German counterfeits, making buying decisions easier for consumers. Cool. German companies were obviously aware of their internationally bad reputation. After being forced to mark their low quality products and counterfeits, they decided to change drastically. Germany at that point had some advantages over its neighboring countries. They had unlimited cheap labor and they had adapted efficient ways of production through their imitation strategy. Hmm. By the time their reputation hit rock bottom, they decided to increase quality while keeping labor costs ridiculously low. Nice. And it worked. The European and especially the British public soon realized that the quality of German products had caught up while the prices stayed low. Nice. With all imported goods now being marked, many also realized how prevalent German products already were in their day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. Germany produced and sold virtually anything at an affordable price. 
from tools to pencils to furniture to steel to instruments, nice. German exports became ever more popular. That's the dope. country would have easily surpassed the UK as the world's number one export nation at the beginning of the 20th century if it weren't for the First and Second World War. Mm. W well, I guess they only got themselves to blame here. Oh, well, During yeah. the wars, the Made in Germany label presented an easy way to filter out products to avoid accidentally buying from the enemy. We all know how World War II went for the Germans, the country was in ruins. Oh, no. Made in Germany became a loser's stamp. Yet this would only go on to fuel the real breakthrough of the seal. After the war, West Germany began its reconstruction, which in turn fired up the economy. Damn. This period is also known as the Miracle on the Rhine, or Wirtschaftswunder. Germany's infrastructure and major business centers were mostly Wirtschaftswunder. I'm not sure if I said that right. But let me know in the comments down below. Destroyed. The workforce, however, was large and skilled. The sophistication of technology was high as well, and a monetary reform with the introduction of the Deutsche Mark helped to limit inflation. Foreign aid programs such as the Marshall Plan initiated by the US helped to foster international trade. Soon employment levels were at an all-time high. Mm. These were of course just a few of the factors that contributed to the comeback of Made in Germany. Companies with a bad reputation due to their role in the Second World War slowly recovered as well. The Volkswagen Beetle for example would go on to conquer the world and became a symbol of German- Oh, I forgot about that. That is a German car, isn't it? Dang! Craftsmanship. Germany became one of the largest exporting countries in the world and regained its image on a global scale. No. The label made in Germany was meant as a punishment. A century later it got turned into the opposite, a seal of quality. Nice. It goes on to show how quickly economies can turn around. Personally, we are just waiting for Made in China to set new standards. Huh, <laughs> true. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, learned quite a bit, quite a bit. Basically, I didn't even realize. I mean, obviously, I know the war affected a lot. But it just goes to show that you could, you could turn anything into a positive, man. You could turn bad words into great words in the future based on like you know what 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 it represents you know what it represents at, what it represents at the time versus what it represents in the future i mean hey man i i've always i've always known at least as long as i've been alive that german products have been high quality so i mean germany is like one of the leading first world countries point blank period i mean they're ahead of america right now because whoo <laughs> y'all money is definitely way more than ours it's worth way more than ours. Ours is, is not doing so hot right now. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me your opinions on this video. Was it accurate information? Did you guys learn something from this? I, I was kind of blown away. I learned quite a bit. But I'm always learning. Because like I said, Deutschland is a thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next time I see you guys again, take care. Peace.